Incorporated. Additional support is provided by the Annenberg Foundation and the Friends of Firing Line. Uh, this is the second of two programs uh, on government and the Internet in which uh, we react to the Communications Decency Act passed by Congress and signed by the President in January. What it seeks to do is forbid certain kinds of program from uh, reaching uh, uh, children. Our guests are, are Ira Grasser, well known as Executive um, Director of the American Civil Liberties Union, uh, Michael uh, Kinsley, uh, well known as the editor, uh, former editor of the New Republic, uh, and alumnus of Crossfire, Susan Estrick, professor of law at the University of Southern California, and the Democratic activist who managed the campaign for president of Michael Dukakis. John Perry Barlow was lyricist for the Grateful Dead, a prolific author and critic. Arianna Huffington is the author and biographer of Maria Callas and Pablo Picasso. Reed Hoffman is a cyber luminary who works currently for Fujitsu in its cultural technologies division and Kathleen Cleaver, Director of Legal Studies for the Family Research Council. I'd like to ask a basic uh, question. Uh, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry, Miss, Miss, Miss Dyson, who is... She, she, she's a, a super qualified uh, ex, a computer expert who's uh, editor of... Uh, editor of... Uh, ed, it's, it's a difficult word to pronounce. 1.0 is my newsletter. One and I'm chairman of the Electronic Frontier Foundation, of which John Barlow is the co-founder. Oh, I'm so sorry. For, for, forgive that unintended uh, discourtesy. <laughs> now, uh, I'd like to ask uh, a, a basic question. Uh, is it assumed that anything that is produced for adults is effectively kept from the hands of non-adults? I know that's your assumption, isn't it? What? In other words, there's no way to, get, to keep children from having access to what grown-ups have. There are ways. You mean it, there are ways? Well, so, so, there, so. there are ways. There is software and there are services that parents or school boards or anybody in particular can use to restrict children's access. There are also, they can restrict children's access to sex, to violence. Uh, in France, you could use them to restrict access to anything that was in English if you wanted. Yes, it that is that entirely is, possible to do that. Shouldn't people who believe that the internet ought to be free of censorship, of which I'm one, concede that the challenge of keeping stuff that is available to adults out of the hands of children is much harder on the internet than it is in the realm of books and magazines. That you can't, there you isn't a separate rule. It is, it's really the really job of parents to do it. One at a time. Is, is that you can restrict at the bottom end or at the, at the receiving end, but you cannot restrict at what used to be thought of as the broadcasting end, because the broadcasting end, uh, in, in the traditional sense of the word, can be anywhere. The only thing you can do is find out whether or not somebody is accessing information. And the only thing that you can do that will control access to information is down at the receipt and not at the beginning. That's not true. What, what people that are uh, uh, opposing this the Communications Decency Act are uh, advocating a, a really big philosophical shift in the law. Usually, um, we, our society has embraced laws that make, it, that make people responsible who are emitting uh, harmful material, whether it is obscenity or it is toxic waste, not require parents or encourage parents to buy filters uh, to protect their homes from toxic waste. To toxic waste. No, it's the people responsible for that. Similarly, with speech, uh, the people responsible for creating and disseminating a playboy um, are, are uh, re forbidden from selling that material to minors or X-rated videos. The list goes on and on. But Playboy is not prevented from producing it. Bookstores may be prohibited from selling it to minors. Playboy right. is free to publish it. There is freedom of speech, and that's what we're talking it, about this here. This law does not offend that. Yes, People it are does. People are free to publish things, of but course, they can't disseminate to minors. It it's uh, completely publishing and Pro Professor Estrick is on. That's the problem. Ms. Yeah, I mean, we live in a world here. I mean, if one thing is clear, it is that the United States Congress, who knows less about cyberspace 
and how this works, then anyone on this panel should it's, not be this, in the business this of doing this first. When you hired elitism up, argument well, wait, from let, you, let, let's, let hear, finish, let's please, hear the elite talk to the people. people. Let her finish, okay? Talk to the common people. Go ahead and finish. I think I am, in some respects, not the elite by any measure. Okay. We have a number of people who are computer experts here. We have a number of people who are parents here. As a parent here, I can tell you that I have my little computer set up at home, not perfectly, but as best I can, to allow my children to access certain things and not, for instance, the book I write. And I think every parent has a responsibility in a world in which our children are exposed to dangers everywhere yeah. they go but to, question, to protect our parents from social stress. What course, is fascinating, really. Susan? What is that? fascinating to me is that the First Amendment doesn't figure into your No, business. what is fascinating the same as is the way, the, way, the way you throw out parents' responsibility. Mm. When we talk about parents' responsibilities in terms of choosing a school for their children, mm -hmm. in terms of being able to send their child to a school where they can actually learn to mm -hmm. read and write, you say, no, this is the responsibility of the, no, I, of I, I the, of the department. Are you in favor of vouchers then for children, to, poor children Could to go I to good schools? No, no, but this is a very important thing because why suddenly parents' rights and parents' responsibilities is the way you answer I think that's right. Wait, 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 wait. I want to say something. Not true. If you want to protect your <laughs> kids from accessing stuff on the internet, the only way to do it is to protect it at the receiving end. It's you cannot protect part. it at the source of it because there is no single source. And if you try to criminalize, but Ira, even there if you are did individual it, Ms. Cleaver, please. You if you're doing it, if you're doing it one at a time, to a child. You hear what the man can. said one at a time. Well, how am I if turn? You, you can't email pornography to a child. That's illegal. When we agree with that, it's illegal. I just found the exception to the First Amendment. Without the law. <laughs> <laughs> no, without the law. Well, well, no, I, I want to say something, if I may. Uh, I'm going to close my eyes. The, um, it, it, it seems to me that uh, Ms. Huffington's point here is very good. There's a kind of cultural anarchy implicit in some of your arguments. Saying, oh, I look after my parents, very formidable responsibility, but, but your parents are your concern. Now, this is not a position you take when you develop policy for your public schools, is yes. it? Or, your, your, or, or both your children and my children go, go to a public school, and we make common decisions affecting those children. Now, why should a common decision not be made to protect to the extent that we can uh, children from exposure to uh, perversion? Because, because the reason, right. Because, it, because, because what? Because it restricts the freedom of adults. And why is that more Well, why don't we make that a sacrifice? So we, won't, we won't see uh, uh, any, uh, 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 any raping of... Uh, babies by adults and we give that up. Yes. Uh, it, 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 the reason we don't is if you could stop I am prepared like, like I am prepared to give up I, I have to say I am prepared to give up an enormous amount of freedom to access that material that we are talking about of molestations and mutilations and rape. I'm prepared to give it all those freedoms up for the sake of protecting very, children. Very for the sake let me just be more specific. For the sake of protecting one child. I'm prepared to give up I those freedoms. And if you're not, you ought to be very oh, direct Ariana, about it. No, 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 this is what we're talking about. This is precisely what we're talking about. This is about, no, about, is it? This is about making value Ariana, judgments. Ariana, read the damn law. I have read the damn law then and I've read the damn First Amendment. Then too. understand it. The, the things you are mentioning were all illegal before anyway, the law was passed. Not according to the, the ACLU. Law, the not according to the ACLU in January. All kinds of other things. And those things you would not be prepared to give up, including the book Ira. you wrote on Picasso. <laughs> come which on, I, Ira. Some yeah. okay. you know, come on. Michael Kinsley is on, and the mics of everybody else have been turned off. Thank you. Well, I, that's too bad, because I wanted to ask a question to this side. I'll turn it on when you ask I, me. I asked that other side, wouldn't they, shouldn't they, in all fairness, concede that protecting children becomes a lot harder because of the technology of the Internet? It does. Shouldn't, yeah. shouldn't your side concede that protecting the freedom of adults becomes a lot harder if you're going to try and protect children to the same degree they're protected now on, in the traditional technology? Yes, and this is, but this is, for yes. me, again, an area where we make a judgment about what do we value more as a society. What we should value more as a society is our children. Who's what the, do we do? One who, second, who, John. Who all of us. Agree? All of us no, who care to be all of us who care to be part of American society as opposed to being the, exclusively the part of is cyberspace. The Ariana, values are cultural. And, I, and I, I basically hold with John Stuart Mill, who said something important a long time ago that applies here, which is that liberty resides in the rights of that person whose views you find most odious. But also, uh, let me just counter by what with what Lord Acton right, exactly. <laughs> said. What Lord Acton said 
is that liberty is not just to do what you wish, but to do what you owe. And this is what we are talking about. What ought, to, ought we to do to it protect our children? You ought, you ought to stay away from not my kids. And you ought and not you ought to keep Jesse on. Holmes away from my kids. Yeah. And you ought to keep Pat Buchanan away from you know, my kids. Because they ain't my idea of child rearing model. The your, your notion of the government as a parent is astonishing. When, why, why, is it, why, astonishing. Say, why is it that now government is parent, where government is not parent when we have laws that say adult bookstores can't set up on the steps of the school? Why. I'll tell you why. Because that is the filtering mechanism we use. No. Because it works with bookstores. Because with bookstores, I can walk in, and the bookstore cannot allow a kid who's underage to walk in, and that works as the filter. Dial on porn. the internet, Kathleen. it doesn't work. Hey, Kathleen, it doesn't do, work on the do, internet. Do you recognize, as Ariana was willing to, that in order to have the same standard we apply to adult bookstores on the internet, will be a lot more restricting to the freedom of adults than is now the case in other media? No, I don't recognize that. Not a lot more restrictive. And this bill is, doesn't, doesn't take adult bookstore law or broadcast law and move it boilerplate into cyberspace. This no, it's tailored. We, it's no, it's not. It's narrower. It's not. Uh, the congressman consulted many computer experts, the industry, <laughs> And groups, and some of your groups, there were lobbyists, they heard from everybody, and this was not an ill-thought law. This is but the product of two I'm years. I'm asking the nature of the technology, law. Nature, the, nature, the, the, the nature of the technology, in order, in order to get, to keep, to keep this stuff, which you would like to keep out of the hands of children, right. will require keeping it out of the hands of more adults no. than is the case in other media. There will be a burden. The burden will be, you might have to go through a screen, the burden will be a slight delay in, in for men to get to their uh, adult entertainment. A slight delay, but not a prohibition. This is Kathleen. just on the face of it not true. This law is unconstitutional. That's not true. It is. And it will be proved so in court. The people who voted for it, a lot of them agree that it's unconstitutional. And they voted for it because they figured it would be turned down in the courts. Al Gore said that. Uh, but then, and Bill the Clinton signed it. I'm not yeah. government it's lawyers. That was for the face. purpose of a stipulation. Am That's correct? an unfair You're representation. You're the only one who understands this law, right? This law on its face would bar, on its face, this It bars nothing. Wait, well, can I finish? Which would bar me from her, her, putting her, her, on the her. internet information about abortion. Now, you, I'm not even, you're not even going to bother because you don't care that uh, Congress sits, revives the law under it's which... It's shameful, really, to, it to is bring shameful. it up like this. No, it, it is shameful is not... to pass laws that are patently unconstitutional. No. It is shameful we must, to play politics on people's lives. Why did the Democratic president sign it? I, you know, because afraid. we live in a political time, Mr. Buckley, as you well know, we're standing up for individual freedom and liberty. Oh, and, and come on, and because it was part of a large... And it was part of a large telecommunication bill. bill. And because he didn't want to veto it and have people like that accuse him of being a child 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 for child That's right. And so he station. said, so I know this do. is unconstitutional, but, but I'm going to fluff him Everything up on the way. Now you don't like, he signed out of fear, but what you do like, he signed out of wisdom. People get hysterical when I remind you a Democratic president passed this law. He's poor to sign the Constitution. No, I think it proves to the He and Steve are the only people who think it's constitutional. It's true like you and like me to resist this act. You're, 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 you're not Republican and, and Democrat, it's authoritarian and you're libertarian. You're and you're selfish. Uh, all, all you want is your freedom to know that this smut is out there. I'm oh, sure you don't really oh, 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 and, and you are against any but attempt. But why does that make it the ground the way? Let me ask you, where do you, where do you <laughs> draw the line? Mr. Barlow is on. Please, please, Mr. Barlow, thanks to you. Mr. Barlow is on. Where do you draw the line and how do you draw it? I mean. She has a very clear sense of what one ought to do and what we ought to be in f standing in favor of. What so, so I'll give you his, I'll give you his mean, And, and okay. how do you draw it? In, and what, in, by what okay. governmental in, instrument? Okay, I'm about to tell you. Uh, in yes. 1960, uh, Fanny Hill was published in New York. A suit was raised that it was obscene. Um, a lawyer pleaded that it was not obscene, and the prosecutor pleaded that it was obscene. And a jury sat down and thought talk about it, and they ruled that it was not obscene. That's what you decide. But this doesn't mean that the prosecutor was presumptively wrong in ass asserting it, it, that it was obscene. We it, it had been 200 years earlier, it had been ruled obscene uh, in Great Britain. We also now, that's, that's, how you, that's how you empirically judge the question of obscenity. Where, where you get into absolute epistemological nihilism and say it can't be decided. No, 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 no. no, 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 no,
when, when Fanny Hill was judged not to be obscene, it was a physical object that was being shipped into or manufactured in or made available in the city of New York. Yeah. And it was under the control and jurisdiction of that jury and that prosecutor. It was not something that might be resident anywhere else in the world. But, John, all that that means that we have a greater responsibility to find ways to restrict what is on the Internet. In fact, this, for me, makes the problem much more on the front burner. We have here a situation where what used to be marginal, what used to be in red light districts, very difficult to reach, very dangerous with a lot of legal sanctions, is now becoming part of the mainstream. Nothing can be worse for a society, what, what and this is why this debate is so urgent. It's why, don't we say, why don't we say that the Internet is a broadcast medium that can be broadcast from a number of different points, and why don't we track down the broadcasters that we can find, even if it's a very limited Even subject. if they're not within our jurisdiction? Yeah. Yeah. Th those, those ones that we can. I mean, yeah, anybody a, anybody a, who happens to... Every I mean, really... Let's right. Let's right. Down every every broadcaster, and, and uh, if you uh, don't agree with this prosecutor, he just hired us. That's how we handle Corbett. No, John, we do have international law. We have international law about terrorism. We have international law regarding Yes, we, we have do. Yes, we do. Let's talk about it's that. It's called copyright. No. No. Yeah, copyright. Nobody can hear if two people talk. Two That's years obvious, isn't it? Okay. Now, first of all, uh, Cleaver, and then Huffington, and then you, okay? <laughs> Thomas, or, John, this is for you. Thomas Capella, two years ago, ran a, a bulletin board system that featured children in pain. He lived in the Midwest. Midwest. He uh, feared prosecution, so he moved to Mexico thinking he could escape prosecution, but his customers were in the United States for the most part and elsewhere. But Clinton signed a bill, the Omnibus uh, Crime Act, which allowed us to uh, uh, find him guilty of importing criminal, uh, criminal material, which is child porn, into our country. So we were able to prosecute him and extra extradite him, and he is sitting in a jail in New Jersey now. This, isn't, this has happened before. Uh, okay. Does that mean everybody's going to be prosecuted? No, but probably the most egregious violators. Ariana? Well, we're facing uh, real dangers in our society at the moment, and it's in that context that this debate is taking place. We're having more children abused every year, more women raped, and more random casual cruelty than ever before. And there are connections between the kind of hardcore criminal behavior depicted in this pornographic material that we're discussing and those criminal acts. And this, for me, is paramount. You, there is a very thin membrane between civilization and barbarism. First of all, your, your statistics are wrong. <laughs> They're the not violent wrong. crime is, has, has, well, I mean, but I mean, you're talking about increases in rape and violent crime. It's that, I did that not say violent crime. I said casual, but, random cruelty. Well, I, when people have I, absolutely I you, what can, John, excuse me, John, John Diulio, professor at Princeton in criminology, has described brilliantly the super predator, an increasing number of young juvenile criminals who have absolutely no sense of right or wrong, and who will kill you without thinking yeah, really. at all. They're going on. That's because they were, they were on. Okay, Ariana. Aragasa, 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 That he did not say, he did not even study, he did not suggest <laughs> any correlation between that and any material which anyone can find on the internet, much less uh, any correlation to a law which would ban things that have nothing to do with well, obscenity. Ira, I mean, what are you uh, talking about? Statistics. Okay, here we are. Here are statistics. In response to FBI's questions on the subject, 81% of the serial masochistic murderer survey said that hardcore pornography was their highest you sexual really interest. And tell me, and tell me about all those stories. Tell me about all those stories where people say they one killed somebody second. because the Bible made them do it. Okay, one second. You want to post them out to the Bible? You are out to lunch, Aaron. One second. If I said to you that 81 percent of people who had food laced with arsenic, said that they had some negative effects on them. Would you say, oh, come on, how can no, you believe that? People have said that they, people have said that, that, that they ate Twinkies and it caused them to act violently. Are you going to, you're going to, you're going to have a police, you're going to have a police out there. <clears throat> I, I, I don't, I don't really, I, Mr. Glasser, I don't see why you want to ridicule <clears throat> the fact that words uh, have action. The whole point of free speech is to permit people to influence other people via that speech. Have you ever heard of the Moore murders, anybody? Well, the, the, they're, they're, they're in jail in England. They've been in jail for 25 years. Uh, he, aged 25, and she, aged 18, <clears throat> amused themselves by torturing to death four little children while they read the sad to each other. Now, this isn't exactly a twinkle. For you to deny that there is some were they, impact. Were they, were they, were that behavior, do you think, caused by the fact that they were reading the sod and were otherwise sweet innocents, 
Or do you think that the reading of the sods while I, they were committing these I crimes had something to do with the fact I don't that know they it. were insane? I don't know, and the witnesses are dead. You don't know? <laughs> but, but, you know Mr. would it have been appropriate for the execution order against Salman Rushdie to have been carried out? What a dumb what? question. No, that's not a dumb question. Uh, I mean, I seriously, I mean, there, is a, there, is a, there was a government, an authority, whose sense of what was right was violated so profoundly that they convicted him of having, Nobody of having done a um, worshiping false idol is forbidden by the yeah, But I mean, that's, that's, that's their know. cultural values. You've got yeah, your is cultural it, values. Is it not true, though, just another clarification of the law. Uh, sure. Is it not true that this law applies to uh, has a, has applies to material on the internet that is not yeah. censored or censorable in other media. Absolutely not. It is tailored what? to be no. precisely consistent Lever, with every other media. Why does it say that? that is I mean, yeah. you're a terrible right, lawyer. Me, you're making uh, my mind. Ms. Estrick has the floor. First of all, I'm not going to sit here and argue that words don't have power. They do. I'm not going to sit here and argue that exposing children to mindless violence is a good thing. It isn't. What I am going to sit here and argue, and seem to get lost here, is that living in a free society in which individuals make judgments for themselves and their families, in which your definition of what a dangerous idea is, does not govern my ability to explain things <laughs> to my children. We're not right. even that discussing is ideas. Yes. But it Nobody is here has our ideas. Ideas. We're if we're I want to wait, let me finish. I must be quiet. Let me finish. Internet. If I, I wait, 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 one at a time. The depiction is if an idea. I want to yeah. show something to my child, which you don't want to show to your child because you find it offensive, satanic. There are many people running for public no, office today who think homosexuality is satanic. I don't. Can you I show it to my child or do you quick decide? You can't authorize your child to smoke cigarettes. I'm really, I think you're being incredibly No, I don't, because that's not an idea. Look, look, and no. because the government has a that's greater a, that's claim That's an action. I. I find some ideas much more toxic than cigarettes. I do too, but much that's... Do that's you, know, you're, you're, you, you have a capacity because of your orotundity to make a perfectly banal thought that's absolutely incorrect sound no, that is, biblical. It is not banal. It's not <laughs> biblical, but it's not banal. You know as well as I that government must exercise more care in restricting First Amendment freedoms, and particularly in restricting speech, which some might view as political, that the definition in this act, broader than the one in current law, applies it's to exactly lots the of... Same. It's exactly we're the same. We're saying, saying, saying there is a common problem. And that common problem has to be uh, uh, has to be in the nature of things addressed collectively. And yes, it affects your child and your child and my child. The collective. Just as they're effective when they have to go to public school. Well, which collective? Well, the, which which, which the collective? collective what is the, the collective? Everybody, people on the You're stuck. Of course, it has to be addressed collectively. So, so therefore, we, we therefore we elect we people to Congress and we elect a president. And, and no, no, put don't. the subject, what we, do, they we can criticize the law, what they say. Which Mr. Hoffman called the first draft. They just passed a law which doesn't do what they say, which does a lot of stuff that they don't say, uh, which is a, a, a constitutional shambles, which will limit free speech for adults, which will not oh, wait, limit pornography oh, to children. ACLU says every new law is a constitutional shambles. We'll and you lose much ACLU. We'll go to court, it'll get struck down, and then we'll be back with our collective the same song at the beginning. You are dealing here with a new paradigm. You've got to restrict it at the beginning. Michael is on. My understanding is that the standard of what the Constitution currently allows to be banned is obscenity. And this law forbids both obscenity and indecency. Now, doesn't that suggest, yeah. isn't, that's not doesn't that suggest that's not a, something else? That is correct. What, Wait, what does indecency correct. That is correct. Indecency, why do they say yeah. and indecency uh, uh, if they didn't need to apply any beyond yeah. obscenity? You can answer that question. It, pr it prevents obscenity to go to anybody, which is consistent with the last law, and prevents indecency to go to minors, but specifically allows indecency to go to adults, period. But it, it doesn't. Does it doesn't prevent. It, it doesn't. It doesn't. It, it, it merely it prevents indecency from being posted in any way that might be made available to minors. That is correct. And the nature of the internet no, is no, not in any way that might be made available. Everybody. No, that's not true. Uh, I think the key word, in, am I correct, is knowingly. Yes. I.e., if yes. the no, producer... No, no, no that's, only one, only, that's only with respect to the indecency provision. I know that's what he's talking about. Mr. Buckley, Mr. Buckley, Mr. Buckley, I put I something on the screen. I can't you because they're talking. <laughs> well, that's not say. my fault. I know it isn't. If I knowingly put something on my website, <laughs> yeah. it is a, I know perfectly well because the nature of the Internet is available to all 4 billion people on Earth. I'm acting knowingly, and, and well, I can be prosecuted. Okay, now you, 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 you have a legal background. Explain to me how the word knowingly is used there 
uh, in the absence of some confidence that you can prove mens rea. The mens rea, what you have to know is that it is theoretically, maybe I'm wrong, but my understanding is that what you have to know is that it is theoretically possible for a minor to have access. You're to that. wrong. That's not Because that's of the nature of the internet, yes. it is theoretically possible for a minor to have access to practically everything. That is the problem. So if you, if you, uh, if you, if you produce a gun and somebody at the other end of the world gets a target, uses it and gets killed, you are therefore no, because are yes, guilty that's the un problem. Un under the uh, under the thinking. That's, of, that's exactly, exactly right. The right. nature you of don't the don't believe that, do you? No, yes, of course. That's what the law. The nature, no, the nature of the internet is that if I produce a gun here, someone of, of course, on the other side of the world is able to get it on the internet. Not a gun, obviously. Right, right. You know what is fascinating? That all these technicalities really never come up when we're discussing restricting polluters from dumping toxic waste. But when it what comes to this, no, no, it's very important. When it comes to discussing speech. what we dump, what, yes, speech, First speech. Amendment. Okay, what are we talking about? What kind of speech? Political In fact, speech. my no. political Pornography. speech, we are talking about depictions of criminal behavior. We're That's talking what we're talking about. We're talking about, about, we're talking about, we're talking talking about, about saying goodnight. Good night. Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs>